Okay, so we arrived in Nusa Penida. It is our first day and we couldn't be more excited. First things first, a lot of people when they think of Bali, they think of these very exotic locations where nobody is and kind you're kind of right but kind of wrong there's a lot of people on Bali but if you want the true deserted exotic experience you have to come to these other little islands and Nusa Penida is one of them yeah so you can actually spend just one day here by taking the ferry but you're only gonna be able to see a few things this island is covered in beautiful places to see so we're breaking it down into a three to four day itinerary as to how you should cover the island so ride with us all right jim describe the process okay so when you get to cinder beach that's where you're gonna take a ferry. There's a lot of different companies, a lot of different times to leave from. It is open to negotiation. The average going rate is around 200. You can get them down to 150,000. So, if you know your return date, ask for round trip, it's even cheaper. And we're late. you will be surrounded by a lot of welcomers offering you a ride, motorbike rentals, what have you, to get to your accommodation. Typically, motorbike rentals on the island are about 75,000. You know the game, bargain down. We got ours for 55,000 from the guys at the port. stop of the day has led us to an area called Manta Point and we think we're going the right way but we might not be it's pretty well labeled up until you get to the actual point itself we're walking along this cliffside right now and we're overlooking just these crazy dramatic fall-offs it is definitely a sight to see and the coolest part too is that we are the only ones up here right now it's postcard worthy Manta Point is because apparently you can see manta rays swimming below. So we're gonna keep an eye out, see what we find. Even if you don't get to see the manta rays, it's definitely worth it for the views. Yeah, I mean, this is absolutely unreal. There's rolling green hills in the background with the dramatic cliff sides, the crystal clear blue water. It's worthy of a magazine cover. Yeah, just be careful though, because there's no guardrails and quick little slip would be your last one. Just up the street from Manta Point is a waterfall, and it's not exactly the type of waterfall you might think of, but it's definitely worth checking out. Motorbike parking is 5,000 per bike, and if you're not wearing a sarong, they rent them here for 10,000, so bring a sarong. Just so you know, situated in the waterfall area, there's also a temple, and for that reason, guys and girls have to wear a sarong. Our advice to you is just bring your own. Made it 
to the pool. It's the whole reason why you go down the stairs. I actually think the view is better than the pool itself. There's a lot of stairs coming down here too, so if you're handicapped in any way, shape, or form, just be warned. Yeah. One and two, I don't really recommend bringing water shoes a lot of the time, but if there's one place that we've been that you're gonna want to use water shoes, it's here. The rocks are extremely sharp and at some point slippery. But the view though, The next stop is a place called Saguening Waterfall. Motorbike parking is 5,000 when you arrive. Apparently you should bring sneakers for this hike, but Raphael and I are doing them in flip-flops for the usual, so. There's no going back now. We'll see how it goes. We've come too far. pool at the bottom which is basically the waterfall is crystal clear and it's just the thing that you need after scaling down a mountainside is this one worth it i would say 100 percent yes and i would also say 100 percent wear sneakers. It is probably one of the most dangerous hikes down a cliffside that I think I've ever done. Look, love Nusa Penida, absolutely love it. But there's a lot of stuff on this island that can kill you quickly. So just be cautious whenever you move around. Our best piece of advice is move slowly and you should be fine. There's a lot of natural beauty here. You should definitely come check it out, but you should definitely be careful too. And last but not least, to close out the day, we are at Banna Sunset. I don't really know where your butt goes. The hair looks great, by the way. Hold on. Not gonna lie, kind of dangerous. Super dangerous. <laughs> 